Hi guys, this is Mr. Kumar. In this video, I'm going to talk about meiosis. Meiosis is also another type of cell division. So in the previous video, we have done about mitosis. So mitosis, why mitosis happens is to duplicate the exact copy of the cell. But meiosis, the reason why meiosis happens is for the formation of gametes, which are eggs and sperm cell. So let's look at what is exactly meiosis. But before that, you need to know what's meiosis. Meiosis is a cell division in which the daughter cells receive only half the number of chromosomes present in the parent cell. So if you are talking about the number of chromosomes, in humans we have uh, 23 pairs, that is 46 chromosomes. So when a meiosis is going to happen, each cell is going to have 23 chromosomes. So that's meiosis. And for meiosis, you need to know another vocabulary word that is a homologous chromosomes. So what are homologous chromosomes? Homologous chromosomes are pairs of similar chromosomes carrying the alleles or the genes. So if you go back to mitosis, you remember we have done haploid and diploid cell. So in haploid cells, there are only one single chromosome. But in diploid, there are two pairs of chromosome. So one chromosome comes from your dad, one chromosome comes from your mom mom so these are the one pair of chromosome having the same alleles so suppose if you're talking about alleles that means genes which represent for the different traits so if you're talking about let's suppose there is a genes all over this chromosome and if we pick this part there can be a genes for the color of the eye. So if your dad was black, this genes is coming from your dad and it will have a allele or the genes for the eye color that is for the black. And this chromosome was coming from your mom. So it will have at the same spot the spot for the genes for the eye color and your mom was brown eyes so this genes will be for the brown eyes so for each trait there are two different alleles which is coming one from your mom and one from your dad so homologous chromosomes are pairs of similar chromosomes which we call this as a pair of chromosome having or carrying the alleles or the genes of the same traits. So if I'm talking about traits, I'm talking about the different characteristics in the human being, like the eye color, the color of your hair, the skin. So you need to know this word homologous chromosome. So like humans have 46 chromosomes that are the 22 pairs of homologous chromosome and one pair of sex chromosome. So when we are talking about sex chromosome, we are talking about X and Y that represent for male, X and X, these are for females. So the 23rd chromosome, which is the 23rd pair of the chromosome is the sex chromosomes. And the rest of the 22 pairs are homologous chromosome. So autosomes that are the chromosome other than the sex chromosome. So they are the body cells. So we have 22 pairs of other chromosome which are the autosomes are also called as the somatic of the body cells. So these are terms you need to know before we go to the details of meiosis. So let's look at some of the facts about meiosis. So meiosis is preceded by the interface. So 
in interface we had uh, all those s sorry that was g1 s and g2 phase these three are together are called as the interface after that uh, it also include the chromosome replication which was in the synthesis phase so it is preceded by the interface after the interface the meiosis is going to take place in this two meiotic divisions that is uh, for the mnemonic we have done that p m a t so for this for in meiosis this was mitosis so to just to remember that you can say that PMAT which takes place two times so which are meiosis 1 and my meiosis 2 the original cell is deployed so if their cell is going to divide this is going to have 2n from that cell which is deployed there are going to be four daughter cells produced which are going to be haploid. So in humans, if this number is going to be 46, then the daughter cells which are uh, made for after the division of meiosis, they all are going to have 23 chromosomes. So the four daughter cells which are produced after that are haploid. Okay, uh, after the daughter cells contain half the number of chromosomes as the original cells because we started with, uh, let's suppose this cell was having 46 chromosomes and after that meiosis, it's going to be having half the chromosome, that is 23 each in these all these four daughter cells. So by this meiosis, we produce sperms and eggs so it takes place in testis in males and that process of producing the sperm is called as spermatogenesis and in it occurs in ovaries in female and that process is called as oogenesis so when start with if you remember it start with double stranded chromosome so if we are talking about double stranded chromosome then we are talking about the sister chromatid so this single is the chromatid but this two are called as the sister chromatids so it start with the sister chromatids or the double standard chromosome and after one division it has 23 double standard chromosomes so uh, when there was 46 in each it's going to have four daughter cell which are going to be 23 but these chromosomes are going to be double standard chromosome so all of this process takes place in germ cells and they produce gametes like sperms and eggs now why do we need meiosis so basically it's a fundamental basis of sexual reproduction so most of the organisms which produce sexually they need to undergo meiosis why because let's suppose uh, in sexual reproduction it's between egg and the sperm so let's suppose we are talking about humans so if humans let's assume that if eggs they have 46 chromosome and the sperm is going to have 46 chromosome and when they fuse to make a zygote they're going to have 92 chromosomes so which is not possible which is uh, abnormality so each 
zygote or the cell which is going to develop into zygote should have 23 uh, chromosome or sorry 46 chromosome so that when the sperm and egg fuses and makes a zygote the total makes a 46 chromosome so for that the eggs should have 23 chromosome and the sperm should also have 23 chromosome so that when they fuse to make a zygote they have 46 chromosomes so when we are talking about 23 we are talking about haploid that is 1n and 1n when they fuse together to make a diploid cell that is 2n so after the fertilization there should be a diploid and to make a 46 chromosome so that's why we need meiosis which separates from the somatic cells these 46 into four daughter cells of haploid so these if it is making egg or sperm all of these are going to have 23 chromosome so that's why we need meiosis so just putting it together this is sperm which has a haploid uh, number so if we are talking about humans let's suppose we don't take this number let's suppose it has 23 and if this is an egg this is also having 23 they fuse together and they make 46 chromosome so when there are one set of chromosome we call that as a haploid and it is having 23 and these are going to fuse together to make 46 chromosome that makes a diploid zygote so replication is also important part of meiosis so replication that occurs in the s phase if you look if i put this as g1 this is g2 and this is the S phase that is synthesis phase and this is meiosis so the replication of the chromosome takes place in the S phase that is the synthesis phase where there is duplicating of chromosome so if you look at the unreplicated chromosome you will find this is a kind of thread like structure and after the duplication it replicates its copy so first it's going to condense and it's going to make copy of two sister chromatids so from a thread like structure it gets condensed and then it replicates chromosome and in the middle is the centromere and it have one of these is called as chromatid but if it has two they are called as sister chromatids so they are held at together at the centromere so meiosis uh, is must to reduce the chromosome number by half so in humans if you are doing 46 it's going to reduce it to 23 then there is fertilization from an egg and the sperm of 23 23 each to make a 46 and restore the 2n number here this is haploid this is haploid and it makes a diploid so as you know uh, one comes from your mom this is coming from your mom that is egg and this sperm is coming from your dad which makes a 46 a diploid number so we have discussed that before now in my second video i'm going to discuss the stages of meiosis